the analogy of a diamond hoe, right? How much ploughing are you really going to be doing? Hey, I'm Milo from Transmen Society. Welcome to this video where I'm going to be teaching you the ins and outs of packing. Well, not really the outs, because I'm pretty sure that still counts as public indecency, but y you get my drift. Also, a quick thank you to everyone who subscribed. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers when I plan to do a face reveal. I figured this video would be a good one to do without my face, so let's get on to it. So first of all, what is packing? It's basically using something shaped like a penis to put in your underwear so that it looks like you have a bulge. It can help pass and also just increase confidence. You can buy legitimate packers made of things like silicone to help you pack with, but a lot of younger trans guys especially use things like socks because it's difficult to, you know, ask your parents to buy you a dick. In my opinion, you probably should pack if you're going to wear something like skinny jeans or swimming shorts because usually that makes the crotch area visible and it can be quite obvious if there's nothing there. So how do you make your own DIY packer? I'm going to put a little video in here of me folding socks. This is a great way to make a packer, but it's important that you make sure it's a kind of realistic size. I mean, think about it, if you have one that's too big, you're going to look like you have a massive boner. A tip from me is to ask a close friend whether they think it looks realistic, because it's really hard for you to tell yourself. Thank you to my friend Joe who made clear that cis guys really don't want a visible bulge in their underwear. It looks really odd, so they kind of avoid it. You don't want something really big, because that would be embarrassing for a cis guy. So what other actual packers are there out there? There are so many to choose from, ones that range from about £10 to over £300. Personally, I like to stick with the Mr. Limpy because I don't really have any needs further than that. Okay, so let's use the analogy of a diamond hoe, right? How much ploughing are you really going to be doing? Do you, do you need a really expensive £300 dick? Probably not, unless you're an adult. You guys ever even made a diamond pickaxe? Like, do people, do people even do that? I don't think I ever have. That is the most pointless thing. But I mean, it's up to you. If something like that makes you more comfortable, then go for it. But personally, I mean, I don't have 300 pounds for something like that. So I had a lot of people ask me something quite important, which is how to actually keep the packer in place. Obviously, a simple way is to wear tighter underwear, but you don't always want to do that. What I do is I put my packet in a sock and then I safety pin that to the inside um, sort of flap I'll put a photo in of my underwear. That keeps it in place unless you're wearing underwear that's much too big for you. You can also use things like packing pouches and sort of these strap things but for people younger that's going to be really difficult to get a hold of without parents. So yeah, safety pin, everyone's got one. That's probably your best bet. Now on to your questions. So someone asked me how often you should clean your packer and how you should do it. Personally, I wash my packer with warm water and soap, but I mean, I don't know how you're actually supposed to do it. I know people put like corn flour sort of dust on it afterwards to help dry it, but I don't think the Mr. Limpy needs that. If you're going to be keeping it in a sock like I do, then you don't need to be washing it every single day. I mean, I wash mine like once a week just because I feel gross otherwise, but I mean, you don't necessarily have to. You could do it once a month, I suppose, if it's not coming into direct contact with your body. Somebody else asked me, how do you get a packer without your parents knowing? Now the Mr. Limpy is, I know in the UK, I'm not sure about elsewhere, it's available on Amazon. So if you can, you can ship it, uh, if you can buy from Amazon, you can ship it to your house and it just comes in a regular Amazon box. So there's no sort of indication of what it is. If you still think your parents would be suspicious about that, then do it around Christmas time or a birthday so you can use the excuse that it's a present or you could ship it to a family or friend's house to avoid all of that hassle, but I know that can be difficult as well. Okay, and lastly, someone answered, asked quite an interesting question, which was, can packing actually make you more dysphoric or self-conscious? And I've seen quite a lot of people say that it does for them. I think it's because some people, it kind of emphasises the fact that it's not actually a part of their body, which can be upsetting. For me, it really helps with dysphoria, but I'd recommend you just try it with something like a sock, and then you can see if it helps you. 
So thank you for watching this video, feel free to leave any other questions in the comments below, I'll try to answer them. To be honest, I don't use a super complicated packer, but I'm sure you could do some research on the more expensive ones quite easily. This is part of a series covering the basic information that I think every trans man needs to know, so I'll link to the playlist in the description and in the comments section for you guys to check out, and be sure to subscribe to see more similar videos. I'm out, thanks for watching!